Hi guys, Jason here, Jason's Trucking Info. So, I'm just sitting here waiting on a, picking up a load. And so, I thought I would do a little bit of a video about setting up your truck. Because being at a new company and being back on true over the road runs, where I have to do what most truck drivers have to do, I've had to reacquire things in order to make my life on the road more comfortable. And I thought that would be something that some of you guys, especially the newer guys, who are trying to figure out what kind of things you really want for the truck. So I thought we would have a discussion. Now, I'm going to give you guys fair warning. My truck is a flipping mess right now because I have stuff I need to get rid of off the truck to make room for the stuff I just brought on the truck. I brought stuff onto the truck temporarily to make my life easier and a lot of that stuff I didn't really even use. So let's have a little bit of a conversation about the stuff I'm going to get off the truck and the stuff that I... Um, Let's go over the stuff that I need and the stuff I don't, the reasons why I have the stuff and the reasons why I'm getting rid of the, some of the stuffs I'm going to get rid of. So my, I've kind of got a big old cluster going on in the truck because I got to, when I get home in a few days for Christmas leave, I'll be dropping some stuff off and I'll have more room in this truck. But let's go over what I got. So, last night I went to Walmart and I bought, let's see, let me switch this over here. Okay, forgive the mess because everything's in chaos. I bought this TV that hooks up on this panel. Not all of you are going to have a truck that will support a TV like this. It depends on the truck. I've got a brand new 2024 T680 Kenworth so it's pretty nice doesn't look very nice in here right now because I it is a big old mess in here because I've gotta make sense of all this but I got this TV I brought my laptop so I could have a laptop uh, or I got my legs because this did not fit in the space that a fridge belongs in here right now I've got a coffee pot in there if you look way back in that corner where it's dark there is one of those Burton stoves to go that you see at the trucks whoop, that you see Here, let me pull it out so you can see it kind of wedged in there so this is something that you're going to want to have. Mine's a little dirty right now. I got to wipe it out. It got dirty and hopefully this stuff didn't get stained. But these, it just has a little cord that stuffs in here. And that just plugs into your DC adapter. And you can cook things in here however you want. This heats up to about 380 degrees and heats up food and what you do is you get um, they sell these at the truck stop but I if you're really smart you'll wait and go to Walmart and buy these because the price is significantly better like one-third the price depending on where you're at and all that but Walmart sells these I got too many of these to, to keep, well no that actually fits in there. So that's a way of saving some room. I can keep that in there. That cord stuff's down in there, but uh, I don't have it in there quite right so it doesn't want to stay shut very well. But that cord is designed to stuff in there if you do it right. Apparently I didn't get in there right. Now. I did bring this to be able to cook on and I have been using it. This is a portable gas stove for camping. 
I will be dropping this off at the house because I don't need it. This needs some serious cleaning, but I get some use out of it. And uh, it uses um, these. I'm not going to take it out of the case, but right inside here has these canisters and it um, snaps in. This will snap in and then you turn the thing down and you use the starter thing and start it and it's like a gas powered little oven range like thing. So one of the many things I will be leaving at the house because I replaced this with this electric skillet that I bought at Walmart. Okay. Please excuse the mess. My truck is in chaos because I just got all this stuff. Bought this stuff at Walmart last night. Some of it I hooked up and got in place. So I got this electric skillet. I actually have there's a plug-in right there. There's a DC outlet right there underneath it. And then up here, there's a plug-in back in that corner that I have behind that stuff. I've got that tray that goes inside that fridge that's on the floor right in there. But up here, there's a space for microwave. So I got a microwave and strapped it in, plugged it in. So the microwave is obviously staying on the truck. The TV, the laptop, my stuff for the laptop, some backup batteries, that type of stuff. I don't think I need a webcam because the laptop has one. I've got the um, dock station for um, here. This is a, kind of a cheaper headset that my wife gave me to replace mine and I've been using it for a while like about a year and a half maybe two years I don't know but I already replaced it with this but these are both staying on the truck because I can use those and have a backup I love to have backup headsets it's good to have backups for stuff so there is that I got stuff here so I can do my YouTube videos over here against the wall on the bed I got my tripod I'm still working out where to keep that it'll probably wind up behind the seat so I got that um, I got my coffee for the coffee maker um, got Ziploc bags I got more more of this camping crap that I really I'm not going to need this anymore. These kettles back here, I'll, I'm going to make room for other stuff like maybe more clothes, which I desperately need to get more clothes. So, there. I got that. That's a, it's a cooking set that's a design for camping. So I got that. Got extra soap for doing dishes back here. I got one of these small percolator camp things. You put uh, your granite, if you know, those of you that don't know how to use these. These are designed so you can put over a fire or on a stove. I've done both. But uh, I've got a big version in a bag underneath the, underneath the bunk. I've got a big, large bag of uh, basically a large version of this that stands about this tall and it's designed. It, um, it's got a thing to hang it by over a fire. Those of you that do camping probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So here is my better camp cooking set. So 
Um, those of you that do camping know exactly what these are and stuff. So it's had some use. So in order to get by for my first couple weeks here at Bay and Bay, I brought this crap on. But uh, this fridge, this gas thing, and the the extra cans of butane, I believe it is, and these are gonna be going home. Plus I got the little camp deals of uh, the little butane things and you got the little uh, deal that spins on top and you have to strike it with either a match or a lighter or something to ignite it so it comes up to flame. Same concept of this, just a little more downgraded. I have one of those too. It's in the black bag underneath the bunk. There's a bunch of stuff underneath where I'm sitting and I'm not going to dig it out just to show you but there's stuff in there a bag of stuff that I'm going to be dropping off at home and this is going to get added in there so there's stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of once I get home I've got to add this stuff to the mix so there you go so let's put this, I got my coffee and my filters. Obviously the coffee pot stand, I got, I just bought these last night for the truck. Two different size bowls and some paper plates so I can use it in the microwave. Great deal. This stuff, I'm gonna try to stuff into that big bag if it'll fit or at least this little stuff should fit. And then, in this bag, I've got stuff um, that I'm probably not going to need. Um, I've got a couple pots and pans. And, let's see, in this drawer here, I've got all my seasonings and hot sauce. I got a couple of... Tupperware deals. Down here is where I'm keeping some pots and pans, which I'm not going to need those now. I will drop those off at home to make room for other stuff. I'll probably be able to fit this down in that drawer. This deal you can go back, go down, go in that drawer. But for the next few days, I'm going to have to contend with a mess, and I'm cleaning this up right now so it is a mess it's a flipping mess on this truck so let's see one thing I didn't get which I meant to get was a, a couple sets of sheets to go on the mattress um, a sheet set up here I've got the cooler I've been using here's all the boxes for the stuff I just bought and I'm hoping that this stuff does not slide off because of this plastic so when I get um, home I'll be putting this mattress back up because I don't want to have so much crap that I gotta um, keep this thing down to hold stuff I don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff Trying to keep it simple on the truck. So, got the Rand McNally GPS, the CB, got a holder for my phone right there, underneath the bunk I've got a 50 foot air hose in case I need it. Um, I do have my Leatherman that's here on my side that I keep and uh, 
I'm gonna need to get some new uh, spatulas for cooking. I'm just kind of going at random here as I think of stuff. So I've got, I need to get some rubber, rubberized spatulas because this one's all metal. This is one that I usually use when I'm uh, doing like barbecue and stuff. Whoop, let me unzoom this. Whew, I'm in desperate need of a haircut. Bad, bad, bad. Haircut, haircut, haircut. If I can get one before I get home, that'd be nice. We'll see if I have the time for that before I go home. So, desperate need for a haircut. I also got some uh, laundry pods and some uh, dryer sheets. Up here I got a uh, sleeping bag, which I will keep on the truck. There's my laptop bag back there. I brought a whole bunch of bags that I don't really need anymore. I got a bag up here and somewhere either up there I think it might be underneath this stuff I've got a hiking bag which um, I might keep some of the bags in the truck so if I ever have to move off the truck I've got bags in order to do it. So the big duffel bag I might empty out into the garage because that's where most of that stuff goes anyway that I'm going to uh, start moving all this stuff into where it needs to go. These items on top of the fridge, I'm gonna stuff into that double bag and put all this stuff underneath there to make room for this stuff because the stuff I don't need on the truck anymore needs to be out of my way, it needs to be out because it's just taking up space. I did buy some rugs, which I'm having trouble laying down all the way. I bought that rug right there, bought it last night, and I got this one right here, which the fridge is in the way, so it's kind of all folded over on itself. But, so, trying to figure out if I forgot anything. Um, this fridge, although nice, um, I tried putting it up on the front seat and that was a total disaster. Trying to drive around last night after I bought that and took took it out of the box and set it on the seat. Um, I don't have a strap to keep it in place and it kept falling up against the dash up there and getting in the way of my mirror while I was trying to drive. So it's on the floor now and that's probably where it needs to stay even if I were to keep it on the truck. But my wife bought me uh, a regular cooler that plugs in for the truck. She bought it on Amazon. I don't remember what brand or anything. She also bought me a um, a different brand of GPS. And I went ahead and bought a Rand McNally because I'm just love the Rand McNally. It works well because I cannot continue to route myself around the country with Google Maps. I've, I'm able to do that but one of these times it's going to lead me into a very bad situation because it does not know that I'm driving a truck and I just can't take every road. So it's going to try to take me down places that cars can go not knowing that I'm on a truck. Until Google Maps starts having a, a truck route option, um, I'm not going to, I just can't do it. I'll, I'll do it in a pinch and do it for a while. I did That's all I did when I was at K&B. Routed myself with Google Maps. And it did get me in a couple bad situations. I almost had... Um, I thought it was telling me to turn earlier than what it was. And I wound up turning down the wrong highway. And wound up um, at a 12-something... 12 foot something bridge and had to flip a u-turn and did a u-turn and there was um a piece of stake like the stakes they sometimes put reflectors on on the side of highways sometimes um kind of more so the kind of one you use for fencing and it was in the ditch and it caught the bumper and tore the bumper up on my K&B truck. So, um, 
Luckily, I was able to avoid getting in trouble for that. But uh, it can happen. You just got to be careful. Even, even my Rand McNally has the potential of doing that. It is just a lot less likely. And you just got to be careful. So let's have a conversation. The microwave is a definite need. The fridge is a need, but I just need the one that my wife bought me because this one does not, it's too wide. It's not too tall, but it's too wide. And this one has a regular plug end on it. And until I get like an adapter that will plug it into the DC adapter that's like right, um, you see that right there. I was hoping there'd be a regular plug underneath there too since there's like one right there and one up there so this truck is definitely set up in a way that you can set it up nice I just gotta get rid of some of the extra excess crap that I've acquired and uh, so you just gotta kind of keep stuff where hopefully there won't be a problem while you're going down the road. So I gotta pick up some of the stuff off the bed so I can lift up the bunk and put some of this stuff down with that duffel, duffel bag so when I go home, I have everything I'm gonna take home in underneath. So it's all easy to grab so it doesn't take me very long. So, GPS, definite keep. The camping gear, I don't need any of that camping gear. The sleeping bag, yes. But the camp stoves, the gas powered camp stoves, I don't know, maybe keep a small one in case I have an emergency and I'm out of power or something. But I'm really not too worried about it. I, I maybe, but no. It'll be all right. So the coffee pot, I keep the coffee pot so you can make coffee so I don't have to go and buy coffee at the truck stops. Um, fridge, TV for entertainment, microwaves to be able to cook on the truck. The Burton stove to go, definite, because then I'll have a way to also cook stuff like I can cook, have something cooking while I'm going down the road can set something up if I'm just going down the road a little bit and I want something to cook and be ready by the time I get somewhere if I know I'm going to be sitting it's kind of a ni nice to have it's kind of almost unnecessary with the microwave and the skillet now but it is another cooking option another cooking tool the extra pots and pans gone I don't need those this is taking ec extra space on the floorboard, I got to find a better place to keep my water bottles and my tea bottles. Um, down here on the floor, I got um, my case of Gold Peak tea and bottles of water down there. Whoop. So headset, yes. 50 foot air hat, 50 foot air hose, yes. Um, need to get some sheets. So all in all, I think I got this truck set up pretty good. It's just cluttered until I find better places for stuff. All most of that up there is trash. The cooler is going to be going back to the house. I don't need that ice chest up there that red and white one right there that you can see above my head that can go back home so once I get rid of some of the excess of stuff that I need to take and drop back off at the house because it's unnecessary I'll have some more space and then I need to grab extra clothes because I only brought four sets of clothes I bought a couple sets of clothes last night so it has some clean clothes to wear until I'm able to do laundry again so we'll see all in all, make sure you're setting yourself up on your truck 
so that you do not have to spend money in the truck stops. Buy items that you buy once and don't have to buy again. So the only stuff you have to buy again is the the, the paper products and things like that. And if and if you can figure out a way to do dishes on the truck, get you a pail and water and stuff, which I got that. I just have don't have a pail to do dishes in. I need to get one. Need to grab like one of the five gallon buckets from my house and some and some stuff to do dishes in so that I can just dump the dirty water out the out the door. So it's a work in progress. Right now I'm just um, the stuff that I when I was cook, cooking on the gas stove, I just been using this duffel bag on the seat. To stuff the pots and pans and the utensils that I've been dirtying and when I go to take a shower I um, have that um, where is it oh it got dirty it got sauce all over it but I got this Dawn stuff that cleans pretty fast and uh, I've been using it it this really helps make short work of cleaning your stuff and hopefully I'm not gonna have to worry about that too much because I'm gonna be swiping stuff from the truck stop all those little boats that you get hot dogs from the loves and the pilots and stuff and the plastic silverware and stuff the napkins I've been doing that for as long as I've been a truck driver I've just in the habit of grabbing that free stuff shoot I can even get free mustard and ketchup and mayonnaise and all that kind of stuff but uh, I try to get buy the stuff that I really want like I got steaks and pork chops and chicken in here I've got milk and butter and I've got bacon in there and I save my bacon grease and use it for cooking so Just set up your trucks, man. So what? how do you guys set up your truck? What do you got on your truck? And what do you really need? And what's just there as creature comforts? TV, I can probably just get along with my phone and watch stuff on my phone. I don't, um, I'm watching Godzilla through Netflix right now. I got on pause so that it's not on the video and all that. But I got I got Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, and all that. I can play right stream right through the TV by using the hotspot on my phone and sign into those services right on the TV right over here. I got my laptop so I can do my videos for the YouTube channels that I have. I I've got canned food, got the microwave up there. Got it all set up just about it's just about perfect as soon as I get all this excess crap off here it is gonna be nice and I'm pretty well set up and then I can just run and it doesn't I've got to make it so it doesn't matter where you park so the only time you're worried about where you're parking is if you're looking for a place to take a shower so you want so you're looking for a loves or a, a, T, or a pilot or loves TA, Petro, whatever. Sat Brothers. Um, I don't know if Casey's has truck stops with um, showers or not. I know they definitely have um, diesel pumps. And that, that is in our network here at Bay and Bay. But my truck's a flipping cluttered mess right now. And I'm going to work on cleaning it up. But... I had this truck clean yesterday before I stopped at Walmart last night and got some of this stuff. My truck was picked up clean and my bed made, which my bed is kind of made right now. It's just kind of combobulated. But set up your truck. Get the stuff that you need to make yourself comfortable and make it so that it doesn't matter where you stop. Now I'm not talking about you making like having like a porter potty situation. 
Sometimes people have like a five gallon bucket, which is kind of nasty. You shouldn't have to resort to those sort of things. Um, I do use pee bottles. That is just part of being a trucker. You got to have some way of going to the bathroom once in a while. Um, but you got to kind of plan those things out. But it means I drink a lot of coffee and tea and whatnot while I drive. Um, while I'm driving, I can just stop and pee, pee somewhere to stop, pull off somewhere and pee. Now, Bam Bay does not like you to stop just on a shoulder somewhere to go pee or just to stop on a shoulder period. They don't even like you just to pull off on a ramp for a quick second. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But when you got to do that number two, you're going to need to have an actual toilet somewhere. In a very, very emergency situation, you might have to take care of things in very creative ways. Um, some of you know what I'm talking about if you've been in that situation. So... Anyway, I thought I would cover that subject. I would like to hear from you guys in the comments as what you guys are doing on your trucks. And tell these new guys in the comments um, what you suggest. But also, I, mean, I haven't even covered, uh, covered, you know, like having your air gauge. Like, talked about the 50 foot air hose, you need your hammer. The trucker's tire gauge, um, whatever you're using as a thumper, a hammer, or whatever you're using the thump with, flashlight, and have like you a little toolbox, which I don't have mine. I usually have one, and keep zip ties, duct tape, um, and uh, a few little minor tools such as a couple of wrenches and screwdrivers and stuff so that if you need to do minor little repairs just to get you by until you can get somewhere to get stuff fixed right. So uh, all little things you might have to do while you're on the road. So alright I think that pretty much concludes this video. I've kind of been rambling and kind of repeated myself a few times but what is it that you guys are doing on your trucks? What do you carry on your truck to, to make you able to be comfortable on the truck? So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. And have a good Christmas if I don't post the video before Christmas. Thanks, guys. Bye.